have you been trying your hardest to cut back on cakes, cookies, and candies, but your mind is constantly thinking about your next sugar fix? Well, before you beat yourself up about the lack of restraint, you may be relieved to know that sugar cravings are about so much more than just willpower. You see, it turns out many people experience sugar cravings when things in their bodies are out of balance, like gut bacteria, blood sugar, and hormones, to name a few. Fortunately, supplements like L-glutamine may be able to kick those cravings to the curb as fast as Leo breaks up with his girlfriends once they turn 25. <laughs> Just kidding, nothing works that fast. <laughs> And in this video, we're going to look at three ways L-glutamine might be able to help with your blood sugar cravings based on the latest research. First, we'll look at how L-glutamine may help regulate the bacteria inside your gut, which crave sugary foods. Then we'll look at how it impacts the hunger hormone inside you. You know, the one that's responsible for making you re-download the Uber Eats app for the hundredth time. And finally, we'll see whether glutamine can even help with blood sugar control. So you're not always reaching for sweets during your energy slumps. Let's go. Hi, I'm registered dietitian, Rochelle Godwin. We made this video because we've had a lot of people email in telling us how they're using our gut out glutamine for sugar cravings, but wondering, how is this possible? So of course, we decided to get our trusted research team at Essential Stacks together to investigate this. And I know you're going to be fascinated by what we found. So you may be wondering if simply taking L-glutamine for sugar cravings is too good to be true. And whether taking a scoop of powdered L-glutamine each day can really stop your inner cookie monster from going wild. Well, thankfully, there is a lot of research detailing how it might help with the processes in our body that crave sugar. So now let's take a look. So first up, L-glutamine may help reduce the bacteria inside your gut that crave sugar and in turn help you avoid sugar cravings. And this is really interesting. So I'll explain how this works step by step. So first of all, the bacteria we're talking about that crave sugar are called firmicutes. They are a type of bacteria that just about everybody has in their digestive tract. And having some of them is not a bad thing. It's just when you get too many that you may run into problems. You see, despite their name Firmicutes, suggesting they'll make you firm and cute, <laughs> having excess Firmicutes in your gut is actually linked to obesity and other health issues. And that's because they not only crave sugar, but also refined carbs. By contrast, having more of a bacterial group called bacteroidetes is associated with better health outcomes. And that's because they crave healthier foods like fibrous vegetables. All of this was shown in a study published in Nutrients in 2021, which found that, quote, mice who were fed the high fat, high sugar diet had a reduction in bacteroidetes and an increase in firmicutes, unquote. And unfortunately, this can lead to a vicious cycle, meaning the more sugary foods you eat, the more firmicutes there are. And of course, the more cravings you have as these bacteria demand their favorite food sugar. <laughs> and I know this is all starting to sound like a mind controlled scenario from the show Stranger Things. But thankfully, authors of a 2014 paper published in Bioessays explained how this works. As they wrote, quote, microbes may do this through two potential strategies. One, generating cravings for foods that they specialize on or foods that suppress their competitors or two, inducing dysphoria, also known as bad moods, until we eat foods that enhance their fitness, unquote. In other words, these demanding bacteria will do whatever it takes to get their favorite fuel. In this case, sugar. Okay, so now you might be wondering, what does L-glutamine have to do with all of this? Simply put, by taking supplemental L-glutamine, you may be able to reduce the balance of gut bacteria that crave sugar, meaning less firmicutes and more bacteroides. This was seen in a 2015 study published in the journal Nutrition. In this research, a group of overweight or obese adults was randomized to take 30 grams of either L-glutamine or another amino acid called L-alanine for two weeks. 
So what happened? The researchers reported their results stating, quote, the ratio of Firmicutes to Bacteroidetes, a good biomarker for obesity, decreased in the L-glutamine group from 0.85 to 0.57, whereas it increased from 0.91 to 1.12 in the L-alanine group, unquote. In other words, L-glutamine might very well lower the ratio of Firmicutes to Bacteroidetes, which means your gut bacteria may have less desire to eat sugar, and hopefully so will you. The next way that L-glutamine may help reduce sugar cravings and support weight management has to do with how it may subdue the hormone ghrelin, which is a hunger hormone that stimulates appetite. And this is a huge potential benefit since so many of us typically respond to hunger signals by eating easy to digest foods like sugar and refined carbohydrates. And just before we look at whether glutamine might help with this, a quick fun fact on hunger hormones. So you know when your stomach is growling very loudly, <laughs> that is ghrelin signaling to your brain to eat. By contrast, when you feel full, that is thanks to the hormone leptin, which is telling your brain it's all satisfied. <laughs> In other words, you can think of ghrelin like a hungry kid who's always raiding the fridge, while well, leptin is the parent who says, no more treats. <laughs> so now that you know that, what does the research say? Can L-glutamine actually help subdue the little ghrelin gremlin and make sugary foods less appealing? Well, we discovered this 2010 study in the Journal of Endocrinological Investigation, and the researchers found, quote, L-glutamine and intralipid emulsion act locally in the stomach, decreasing ghrelin secretion, unquote. In other words, glutamine might help subdue the hunger hormone and in turn help us say no <laughs> to another slice of cake. And there's another way it might help do this, which I'll touch on in the next and final point. So the third way that L-glutamine may reduce sugar cravings is by helping with blood sugar control and feelings of fullness. And given how often blood sugar cravings come from blood sugar imbalance, hello afternoon energy slumps, this could be a very interesting point. So it turns out the way glutamine might help with this is by stimulating a hormone called glucagon-like peptide 1, or GLP-1 for short. And GLP-1 is our friend here, as it may help with blood sugar and feelings of fullness. And I know all of this sounds rather complicated, but it's important. So let me break it down in plain English. First, I'll explain why GLP-1 is our friend, and then I'll show you how glutamine can help stimulate more GLP-1. So according to a 2014 paper published in the journal Diabetes, GLP-1 is a hormone that helps to improve glycemic control, meaning blood sugar control, and stimulate satiety, meaning feelings of fullness, leading to decreases in food intake and body weight. Meanwhile, in this 2014 paper in the journal Nutrition and Metabolism, researchers found, quote, studies have shown that GLP-1 leads to the suppression of the appetite center in the central nervous system and a decrease in the secretion of the ghrelin hormone, unquote. So in plain English, GLP-1 is our friend because it helps with blood sugar balance and makes us feel fuller. So with all of that in mind, can glutamine help stimulate GLP-1? Well, this study published in Endocrinology in 2011 showed glutamine can increase GLP-1, especially compared to other amino acids. As the researchers wrote, asparagine, phenylalanine, and glutamine triggered GLP-1 release, but glutamine was the most efficacious. In other words, glutamine worked the best for our little GLP-1 friend. Interesting, right? And I know we've covered a bit. So to wrap up this video, let's take a look at the key takeaways. As you can see in this table, we've seen that L-glutamine may reduce Firmicutes bacteria, which are reliant on sugar and can make you crave it. Second, L-glutamine may reduce ghrelin, the hormone that makes you crave food, especially easy to digest foods like sugar. And lastly, glutamine may also increase GLP-1 levels, which helps with blood sugar control and stimulates feelings of fullness. So you don't want as many sugary treats. Now we wanna hear from you. When it comes to sugar cravings, what has worked best for you? Let everyone know your favorite tips by leaving a comment below. If you enjoyed this video as part of our glutamine series, then hit the like and subscribe button to make sure you never miss another video. Our team of dietitians and doctors here at Essential Stacks are so excited to continue researching which foods and supplements help your gut health. That way you can save hundreds of hours of trial and error and focus on what's best. 
for your digestive health. Thanks for watching and see you in the comments. Bye for now. Remember that this is not medical advice, but for information purposes only. And like with all gut health topics, please be sure to consult with your healthcare professional to work out what is best for you.